they found the flag carrier with all four limbs chopped off, still holding the flag in his teeth. Now, of course, he was dead at that point, but my point is, he went down to the very last. Because it was, if the unit, the, the flag is the morale of the unit. If the flag goes down in the battle, then people break. And the worst thing that you can do for a pike block is break. Because then the enemy gets inside and chops you to pieces while you turn to run. Your greatest strength is to continue to stand there steadfast against the enemy as a block. Even if the outer few ranks start to falter or whatever, the rest of you have to step up and take position and hold the line. It also tells the main commander if you block the line. Yes, because as I'm saying, if I'm the main army commander back here on the hill, I can see that flag and that flag and that flag, so those units are still active. If that flag went down, I stopped taking that into account because that unit's lost. Right? So the flag is the heart. So you're right. Your answer is I use the instruments. And each and one of them has a specific <coughs> rhythm that they're going to play for each command. Yeah. It's structured the way you described it. It's like each unit is about 400 guys in the block, and the blocks are put together into that 5,000 block. But it is the same. And it's, and, it's, and it's formulated a little bit different. Because if somebody messes up, this is all just going to go straight. That's because we didn't bring There it. is, yeah. in all seriousness, we were not kidding. It is very common, you see in the pictures, that the lens connect between their Unterhaub and their Telebrett, they wear a steel puck. It's literally called the brain bucket in German. Because it's just very tight fitting and it's there to protect your skull from blows. It's not protect your, fault, your skull from blows by the enemy, although it will help there. You're worried about the guy five five lines behind you that you were drinking with last night. You know he's blots up. Or, or his hand slipped and this just went like this. And hit you in the By the way, what he just did there, we did the math on it once. Letting a 16-foot pipe free fall like that, the head was hitting with 250 pounds of pressure. It's enough to crack your skull. That is going to crack your skull wide open, and that's just letting it fall. What if he was trying to snap into the combat position and brought it down first? Yeah, you wear it to protect you from your friends. First piece of armor you invested. Yep, no doubt about it. All right, you basically have learned all the basics. Literally, there's a couple of fancy maneuvers to, to flip them around at the last the minute. music. But that's basically it, all right? So, you are now all officially graduates of Pike College. You have, in a short period of time, learned all the basic maneuvers. The only reason it's going to take me two weeks to put the whole unit together is honestly, we're going to practice as a unit, and you're going to learn, oh, that drum beat means this. That's actually the hardest part of it. But in two weeks' time, we're going to war. And by the way, you're all getting paid four guilders a month because you're starting pipe. Four guilders, that doesn't sound like much, except your gold coins. That equates to roughly about $10,000 a month in buying power. Your dad, if he was a farmer, might have made that if he had a really, really good <laughs> yeah, year. Yeah. Yeah, on, that might have been an entire year's worth of pay. You're making that every month. So four guilders starting pay. The doppel soldier, the veterans, eight guilders. Feldwell, 12 guilders. A captain makes 400 guilders. Stupid noble. Why do, why do people sign up to do this? I'm going to make more money in one season doing this. And that's the grand plan, isn't it? It always is. I'll go to one season. I'll come away rich. I'll buy a nice little villa. I get a servant. I'll be fine. At the end of the season, if I'm still alive, uh, I probably wasted it all wine, women, and, and, and uh, gambling and everything, right? Well, that didn't turn out the way I planned, but okay. I can do Next one year. more season. <laughs> Welcome to the life of a Lenskine. And the best part is, is you get paid up front every month. Yes, you do. We also, as, as mercenaries, we have a certain level of expectation. Um, we will, uh, because we know it's hard to get money into the field. So we will allow our employer to miss one month of payment. After one month, all bets are up. <laughs> We're getting paid. If the enemy commander wants to offer us wages, our commander may wake up with his army gone in the morning over on the other side. 
Yep. Oh, no paid horses, no armor, <laughs> no, no, no artillery. Oh, no. Twice as many enemies. <laughs> so, go ahead, place the poles down. We will have you go through one final thing. So go ahead and lay them down there. Uh, just so you don't hit anybody now. Good it's a lousy way to end the training. Realistic, um, but lousy. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you file, single file, through the archway. This is something the Lynch Connect actually did. Okay. This represents your transition from civilian life to military life. You are no longer regulated by civil law. In fact, you're immune to civil law. However, you are now subject to military law, which in many ways is harsher. <laughs> I will point out in the copies of military law of the time period that we have that have survived, many, many, many of the, the factors in that says, and up to and including death. Uh, so the ones that don't just say, in, it's just it's death. death. It's just death. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of harsh, but it also means that when you steal the chicken, the local sheriff can't touch it because you're immune to civil law. So it's got its good points and its bad points. Um, Starting life expectancy for a beginning land schnick is three months. However, statistically, it will take our army six months to get to the first battlefield. So that tells us that war is not what's going to kill all you units. It's this army that's the size of a major city moving together. Dysentery, plague, all of those things. The factors that we're not used to because we grew up on a farm with people a mile or two away and maybe once a year we'll go into the harvest festival and see 80 people. Now we've got 80,000 in a small area. So disease is a bad thing. But so is, hey, we were gambling last night and man, did I win a hell of a big gamble farm. And so I should probably have the intelligence to say, Let's play a couple more rounds, or let me buy you a round of drinks or something, so that he doesn't get pissed and I ain't wind up with a knife in my back. Hey, Roger, if you keep going, you're only going to have another week's worth of talking if, if for these people when they come back around, man. Okay, fine. <laughs> so anyways, I'm already being told to move on. But anyways, my point is, it's the, the life expectancy is mostly about non -work. So it, once you get past that, some nut job running into the sword, there, you got to fight for that, right? All right, so thank you all very much. I will dismiss you with a traditional German dismissal. Uh, if you speak German, you will get it. If you don't speak German, you very well may get it anyways. When I dismiss you, I will ask you to pass through the archway single file. On the other side, you will receive your first month because you're always paid in advance. Now, of course, we're giving you German coins. And we're in an English town that won't accept German coins. However, if you come over to the encampment, show you how to gamble <laughs> the way the Germans did and you might actually walk away with more coins you might not, but you might because that's always the joy of gambling isn't it so thank you very much for your attention we appreciate you participating today and with that Zubia go ahead and pass through the archway and collect your prize and by the way ladies this could have very well happened with ladies they actually can sign up as soldiers, they get the same pay and treat it exactly the same. Oh, we love that happen. It doesn't happen often. It doesn't, doesn't happen often, happens. even now, <laughs> but it happened enough that we have documentation. So was that informative? Good. That's the entire intention.